All right, so there's a lot of debate amongst uh, Tesla fanboys whether using a standard 120 charger uh, will be sufficient in northern climates uh, during winter months. And in my case, I charge up at work for free. So I only need to charge my car at home intermittently. And yesterday was one of those days. I actually drained the car all the way to below zero, uh, which I did, uh, well, sort of by accident, but then I realized that it would be great uh, for this uh, video. At any rate, what we've got here is a vehicle that was at zero uh, last night, and uh, 12 hours and 20 minutes later, let's see what we have on it. As you can see, I have 89 kilometers, and that is just fine. So for easy math, that's about 55 miles for our American friends. As you can see at the top here, it shows two degrees Celsius, minus two degrees Celsius. And as you can see, the snow is not melting here in Calgary, Alberta. And overnight it was minus six degrees. So I think this dispels the myth that you cannot use your Tesla uh, 110 volt uh, charger uh, just from a standard wall outlet to charge your Tesla uh, overnight and give you enough juice to get from A to B, uh, you know, most commutes uh, without any problem at all. Even in cold weather climates like Western Canada, when my battery is literally below zero, both in temperature and in kilometers that are currently in the battery. Something that's important to note here is that this is not exclusive to Tesla. Uh, previously, I had uh, two Cadillacs that were plug-ins and I had a Ford as well that was a plug-in and they received similar performance numbers as far as the charging goes. So this is not just a matter of uh, Tesla being better than everybody else. This is a matter of Tesla charging being the same as everybody else. When it comes to home charging, it's obviously a completely different matter when we're talking about superchargers out on the highway. It's a separate story altogether. But as far as the home charger goes, the Tesla charger works just as well as the Ford or the GM charger on the 110 volt outlet. I think that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.partisanissues.com and uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye bye.